Guys, we are back. So, we're following up on the new to so rare start here playlist. Today we're going to be taking you through so rare data, so rare data .com. Uh, It's a free to use data site basically to help you find your feet, find where um, values are for cards, high performing cards, all that kind of thing. So without further ado, let's get stuck into it. Now, if you're anything like me, when you first come on to so rare, it's very, um, very eye-catching, very appealing, very attractive, and you just think, oh, I can't wait to get stuck into this and really see what's, um, you know, really scratch beneath the surface and get stuck into it. Now, I didn't actually really come across this or use this properly um, in my first like two or three weeks, but since then, um, I've found this to be an amazing tool. It's completely free of charge incredible they do take donations um, and i highly recommend if you do use them that you go and you, you send them a couple of quid or a card or something like that. they do card giveaways you know for the donations that they get and um, so please support the guys because the work they do on this is absolutely incredible and it just goes to show you how transparent all of this is on so rare so as you can see at the top and um, we've got the wee logo and then just next to that you've got a few different tabs auctions managers offers blah 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 and you click into each and every one of them. So first of all, before we click on auctions, right, you can even just scroll down and you'll see here the volume of the market, how it's actually performing in real time in Ether, you know, so you can get a grasp of if the market's booming, there's lots of traffic, you know, there's a lot of wantable cards, uh, highly sought after cards that have been available. Then you'll notice those numbers going up. And um, when it's ones that maybe are less appealing or cheaper, you'll find them popping down a bit, you know, so it's always good to keep your kind of finger on the pulse with how the market's doing and performing and whatnot as well. And then as you scroll down, you can see all the kind of live auctions that are on at the moment. You've got the little timer, that's the bottom thing underneath the card. And then you also have an average card price, which is, so I'm looking at uh, Julio Cascante. His average card price is 0 0.013 Ether, right? Which is like a fiver or something like that. At the moment, his auction is sitting at 0 0.10. So buying him at the moment, you're getting a, a little bit below average. And then you can see his last two games, oh, um, have been, oh I think those auctions have timed out and they've went because uh, if you've seen the bottom it shows you how long's left to go on it. Harris Seferovic here, we've got a unique one on the go there now, there's no average because this will be the only unique Harris Seferovic. If you want to know my opinions and my thoughts on Harris Seferovic, there's a playlist called um, Football Index Reference Points and we have the Seferovic principle, so um, you can go check that out if you like. Um, but yeah, it just gives you a, a, an idea of how they're performing on the Matrix, the last couple of games, and then you can see where it says no game. If they have a game coming up, you know, in the current game week, then that will show there as well. Um, and yeah, so it, it gives you something to go on really quickly. You know, when you're on the actual website, it's so rare, you click on an auction, say you clicked on Justin Clivert, you scroll to the bottom of the page, hit Justin Clivert again, and then when you go back to the top of the page, you get two tabs, description and cards, you click on the cards, and you can see every card that's ever been issued and the last transaction that was on it. Um, but with this, you can quickly see at a glance, a good average Ether price for Justin Cliver is 0.169. So if you were to load, let's say 0.175 into your wallet and you're thinking, I'm going to try and take down this Cliver, um, you're really shooting to get them under the 169 because this average may have been 7, Ether was a bit cheaper and now it's a bit more expensive, you're, you're probably going to be shooting below that. So um, yeah, as I say, it's a great, great gauge. It helps you find these unknown players as well, like Junior Nagal, who's... Stats are incredible, you know, being a Brazilian forward in the, the K-League, he's obviously just a guy that absolutely storms it. And you can see his average for price there is 2.830. He's actually not been available on the market for very long, so that price will be very accurate as an average and very current. So, like I say, even this home page alone gives you oodles and oodles of information that you can use to, to capitalise on. You click into auctions, you can see ongoing auctions ended, most expensive, you can see absolutely everything that you could possibly want to try and collect your own data and make your own um, kind of extrapolation of the market, you know, what you see is a fair price, a good price, you know, etc. Um, most expensive auctions, I thought uh, Big Ronaldo must be up here somewhere. There's a lot of guys ahead of him now, that's weird. I thought Ronaldo would have been the biggest, but there's actually a few guys up here now. Um, I don't see Ronaldo at all. Eddie Segura, like him. Sprar. Where in the bloody hell is Ronaldo? That's weird. I thought he was. Uh, he would have been easily up there at the top, but you're unique for Sharon, unique Depay, unique Diego Rossi. 
and then you can click into managers and again just like you can on the so rare website and um, you can type any manager's name in and you'll be able to look at their, their gallery and see what's going on this is nice because it's got a bit of a ranking in terms of average cards and cards owned and all that kind of thing i don't think i make it anywhere near here to be honest with you with my 40 cards and um, these guys are all right up there i wonder if grant's here there's a lot of familiar names you know shays latineur black flag go el phenomenon um, and lfc blockchain zura these guys are all big big hitters uh, and very active in the community um Top 20 managers ranked by owned cards. O'Shea's top of that. And again, a lot of familiar names. How far does this go? Does this go all the way? Oh wow, it does. I wonder where we are. Kind of bored looking. Um, you then have offers. So then these are offers um, that go between managers, you know, directly for cards. And there's an expiry date on it. Um, and uh, this might actually even be market sale, actually, because I keep. Um, I, I've not really used this too much for the market sale feature. I think this will be market sale, in fact. Yeah, yeah, so this will be the market sale feature. So it shows you the cards that are up for sale now. The price they've been set at. You can see the average of what they go for. You know, if they've got a game. All the same stuff that we've seen in the last page as well. Uh, charts. Now, this is the one that's did the round on Twitter today a little bit. You know, so you can see the growth in the platform or any decline, should it ever happen, um, on all the charts in terms of volume, traffic, you know, the amount of actual games that are getting played, the amount of teams that are being entered, all that kind of stuff. And again, it's all very transparent, very easy. Supply just shows you how many cards are here. Uh, rankings, I'll check that in a second. Um, but yeah, you can see the game week, you know, and this is really good because we go into so rare website, it's not always amazingly up to date with um with where your position is. It'll show you your points quite accurately. But at the moment I'm sitting in like 16th or something like that. Uh, rankings, so I'll just put my myself in. And you can put anyone's name into this and you'll see how they're doing. Um, so I can see there I'm an all-star D4 team. I'm currently sitting 19th. Oh, 16th this morning. Um, Paolo Lopez won't be playing. I've only just realised that Zinho Van Houston is uh, suspended. So he won't be playing. So I've only got Max Daly. I really need him to get something like 100 points um, to get me up and get me a free free card. Which uh, having two players not playing um, is a bit annoying. And I've got my wee under 23 team. Uh, we're in the top 30%, it's because no balls have been kicked really, but again, I'm quite happy with that lineup and I hope. Van de Voort and Sardella are probably the biggest question marks over starting for me, so I hope they do well. So again, you can keep on top of that and it's a really easy way to see how your ranking actually is and how the team's performing throughout the week. Um, the ranking's here, so I think that's just, yeah, I've done that already. Sorted. Um, so yeah, like I say guys, absolutely free to, to join. It links, direct, you know, because like so rare is mega transparent and everything's open source, um, it's very easy to, to get all the data you absolutely need. I mean, you check the actual player rankings. There's some names here that you'd be surprised, like, oh, I didn't realise there was a card for them on here. Maybe like a Bruno Fernandez, of course, formerly of Sport and Lisbon. Uh, another one I found interesting was Alexander Sorloff. You know, I didn't realise he was in Belgium a season or two ago. Um, and then you can scroll down here and you can see who's actually available and they might not in some of these cards there is only like a few of them in existence which is why you probably wouldn't be openly aware that they do exist and um, without checking this kind of thing out you can think oh i wonder if this player when he was in belgium or korea or portugal or whatever i wonder if he's got a card and you can go and check it out and see where they're at um but yeah magic guys um if you've got any questions, please drop them below. All the links to get involved in so rare and start for free, basically, with all the free cards you need and uh, the coin base, um, like you get a little eight, ten pounds, something like that. It's a freebie. It's all linked down below. If you are new around here, please make sure you do like, subscribe, share, retweet, all that good stuff, guys. Uh, stay out of trouble, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye bye.